So I've been digging into the old Black Mesa. I just wanted to share a little tip here. So through using the activators, I was able to, well, I guess, you know, first hitting one takes you to your crowbar. Switch back. So switch to your crowbar and then switch back. I wanted it to feel like a normal melee from like a more modern first person game. So what I did was basically if I click the right pad and hold it, I switch to my crowbar, start bashing, let go, and <laughs> I switch right back to my previous weapon. So let's just uh, to verify, so I have like my pistol. Click, switch crowbar, bash, 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 let go, switch back. And that feels really cool. I mean, there is a delay, just it's the nature of the game. You have to wait for, you have to wait for Gordon to take the crowbar out. So it's not an immediate bash. But it's as quick as it can be with the nature of the game, and it makes it feel like a more modern style game. So really, what I'm doing here... Like a lot of these little tips, it's like, it's really not anything too crazy. You just have to think a little outside of the box. So I have... A normal click is my interact. A shortened long press is applying my action layer, which is my melee bash. Then, in melee bash, what's going on? I put the left mouse on a longer delay, just so there's time for the animation to play when switching to the crowbar. So we switch to the crowbar. Attack. Turbo that attack with haptic so I can feel it. Then on a release press, it's just a, you know, push Y to toggle the multi-button, unload this action layer, and switch back to the previous weapon. So whatever weapon, so we have this, click, hold, pull out the crowbar, start bashing. You know, and then with the gyro, I can be aiming around while I'm holding this in, or I could... No, I couldn't OR, because I made this a single button. If you wanted to be able to click and hold this and move, you could make that a, uh, a mouse. Let me get... so there. Like, I'm fine with just having the, ma the gyro for that, but instead of this being a single button, you could have it be the mouse, and then on the click, just apply all of these activators. But I just wanted to share that, because I was fiddling around and I came up with that, and I'm digging it. It feels nice. So, oh, oh crap. Jeez. I didn't even notice that dude in there. You almost snuck up on me and I can't bash you. Guess I better start looking around. Got all distracted with my tutorial. But yeah, that could apply to lots of other games too, though. Just something, you know, switch to any particular item, use it, let go, and then it goes back to the other one. So yeah, pretty snazzy. And that is all I got. Goodbye.